Happy first Tuesday of November, our nation's official voting day. Today is November 2nd, and welcome to this episode of Sycamore, our Sycamore Junior High Daily Announcements. I'm Evan. And I'm Nikolai. And if you would now please join us as we stand face to flag, place our hand over heart and our country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Thank you for joining us, and you may be seated. Did you know that the Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos, is a Latin American holiday that is celebrated each year between October 31st and November 2nd? Many Latin American families are in the midst of honoring their relatives who have passed away by visiting cemeteries and offering flowers, food, and drinks to their spirits. One popular symbol of the Day of the Dead is the sugar skull. It is a festive treat made from sugar and decorated with bright colors in memory of a loved one. A special thanks to Miss Sariki's world music students who shared these awesome sugar skulls designed with music notation and symbols as a musical element project. Wow, these are really creative. I like how they strategically use the musical notes to create different parts of the skull. Oh look, at that one. Thanks so much for sharing these. Now we have more survey results. So the season survey is finished because there are multiple options. We will just tell you the most popular one. Fall. That's my favorite season. Mine too. Next up we have the answer to the riddle. It was an echo. And the riddle for today is pretty hard. Here it is. A girl has as many brothers as sisters, but each brother has only half as many brothers as sisters. How many brothers and sisters are, in, are there in the family? Now we have our fact of the day. Did you know that Coca-Cola was originally green? Oh my gosh, really? I know, right? I would have never thought about that. Next up, birthdays. A very special happy birthday to Zero H, Thomas S, and William T. We hope you have a great day. Now we have a quick interview with SSC. Hi, my name is Anna. Today I'm interviewing some of our 7th grade SEC girls. Emily, what do you love about show choir? Well, I love how we get to sing and dance and express our feelings through music. That's cool. Chloe, what do you like? That part is so much fun, but my favorite part is getting to hang out with all my friends. That sounds awesome. What time do you practice? Tuesdays from 7 to 8.30. That's so convenient, so you can also play sports. I know, right? Uh, why do you think the 7th graders should try out for SEC next year and the 8th graders should try out for show choir at the high school? It is so much fun and is a perfect opportunity to meet new people. That's awesome. Thank you guys for coming in. Next up, we have a commercial break. And then on to the wonderful and amazing Mr. Harris with the school activity announcements. My name is Cammie. I am in cross country and a sophomore in the Cinevation Lab. One thing that has been different about the Cinevation Lab is that I get the individual help when I need it. And the teachers learn how I like to learn and how I work best. And that's the Cinevation difference. My name is Micah, I'm on the lacrosse and basketball team for Sycamore High School, and I'm a junior in this innovation lab. One difference the lab has made for me is it's taught me life skills like efficiency and time management. That's the innovation difference. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. All right, a couple things. If you're interested in problem solving and you're an innovative thinker and you have ideas of how to help our school be a better place or just want to assist in establishing a positive life-changing experiences for our Sycamore Junior High community, then the PBL Design Thinking Club is for you. Our first official face-to-face -face meeting will be Wednesday, November 3rd in room 221. That's tomorrow after school until 4 o'clock. Please make arrangements for a ride home at 4. Join our Google Classroom. If you not, don't already have the code, it is CK4ZJVS right here. If you have any questions, please see your email, Mrs. Jarvis. If you're interested in wrestling, all communication will happen through final form, so please make sure you are signed up. Conditioning for the wrestling team will be on Tuesday, November 9th, and Wednesday, November 10th, from 3 to 4.30, after school in the new gym. All right, Abe's Theater presents... Puffs, all right, seven increasingly eventful years at a certain school of magic and magic. 
All right, so if you're a Harry Potter fan, this is the play for you. This is being put on by the Sycamore High School students. It's at the Sycamore High School Auditorium, all right, for November 11th and the 13th. Show starts at 7 o'clock. Ticket information, www.avestheater.org. Don't forget to sign up for the Sycamore Junior High Ski and Board Club. Go down to Perfect North. That classroom code is SEI54. FM right there. Check it out. Sycamore Ski and Board Club. All right. Uh, don't forget, Sycamore Junior High Cheer and Dance Squad. Your mandatory clinics will be next week, November 9th and 10th, with tryouts on the 11th from 3.30 to 5.30 at the Green School. Remember, we'll take you to the Green School, and your parents are going to pick you up at the Green School. Make sure you sign up on final forms. Speaking of cheer, hey, congratulations to our competitive cheer squad as they took first place last weekend in the Goshen Cheer Competition. In addition to the overall win, Madison Barnes and Caden Johnson took first and second place in the toe touch, and Callie Holly, also along with Heidi Kramer, took first and second in the hurdler. A special shout out to Coach Lawrence for leading the team to victory. Congrats girls, great job. And attention all boys and girls golfers, if you haven't picked up your GMC back-to-back -back champion t-shirt from Mr. DeJoy, you need to do it by the end of the week or they will be donated. There's one with my name on it. I will be wearing that bad boy. There are six that still need to be picked up, so make sure you guys grab them. That's it for me. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. And now we have our fantastic students of the week. Hello, staff and students of Sycamore Junior High. This is Mrs. Bernoski again back with our Students of the Week. As a reminder, our Students of the Week are nominated by teachers on four characteristics based on our PBIS, or Positive Behavior Intervention Support pillars. Our students are safe, responsible, a problem solver, and respectful. First, we have nominated from Mrs. Hunt, Jaden Key. Congratulations to Jaden. And then also you get a Chick-fil-A gift card. All right, thank you, Jaden. Next, from Ms. Huffman, we have Jackson Mullins. Congratulations, Jackson. All right. Next, we have from Ms. Hermanka, Grace Howard. Congratulations, Grace. And your Chick-fil-A gift card. And we also have Phoebe Perzinski. Congratulations, Phoebe and your Chick-fil-A gift card. Congratulations, everybody. And next week, we will return with more PBIS Award winners. That is all we have for today. Don't forget to check the SJH Communications classroom for today's daily survey. We hope everyone has a great start to the second quarter. And now for our daily joke. What do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop. <laughs> Go, Go A's. A's.